family, it's your girl Serenity Rose, and we're back with another video, and we're just going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys what I'm using, put it on my face, some music here and there, and we will go from there. I have a few new products, nothing crazy. I have the new Juvia's, well, it's new to me, the Juvia's Place Concealer. Um, yeah. Um, I have some NYX lipsticks and lip glosses that I haven't tried yet that I got recently. And then I've been eyeing the P. Louise eyeshadow base, but I don't want to pay like 20 bucks to get it from Morphe. So I found one on Amazon that looks like a dupe. Um, so this is the eyeshadow primer from Beck Issue. It says long-lasting waterproof. It comes like this. Um, when I show you what the actual product looks like, you're going to be like, that might actually be a dupe. So let me take it out. I got mine in the shade medium one. You probably can't see it. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it looks exactly like the P. Louise one, like as far as packaging goes. Um, so again, I got mine in the shade medium number one. They had dark and then they had like colored ones. I think like blue, pink, maybe white, black. But yeah, I got this because again, like I said, I've been eyeing the P. Louise one, but don't really feel like paying 20 bucks for that. And then Morphe had a bomb ass sale. And if you know, these normally retail for like 16 bucks, but the Jeffree Star one that is strawberry scented was on sale for $5. So I got three of them. I'm not supporting any of the crazy drama, but that is a steal. I don't care what drama you're in, the product is good. So I'm gonna get it. So let's move on to actually putting makeup on my face. So, I haven't washed my face or anything I normally do, but I'm taking my makeup right off after this. I'm just filming because I'm not going to go see my daughter today, so I need something to do to keep my mind off of not going to see her. I'm going to take the First Aid Facial Radiance Pads. These help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And this is what it looks like. You probably can't really see. Okay, I'm going to take myself out of life focus. Okay, so you should be able to see it a little bit better now. But this is what it looks like. And these are just like facial pads. So, yeah. I think it comes with 50. Um, and these are alcohol free. So I just take one and wipe my face down. And you wouldn't believe how much dirt is actually on your face. Until you look at the actual pad. Like even... I double cleanse and everything, wash my face, exfoliate, tone, and the next day I wipe my face and there's still dirt. Like, I don't understand. Am I really cleaning my face? So, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty. So, I'm gonna let that sink in and we are gonna start on the eyebrows. Okay, so before I move on to eyebrows, I'm going to moisturize my lips because I just washed my teeth and um, my lips are feeling a little bit dry so i'm taking the chapstick total hydration lip night serum you don't have to only use this at night you can use it whenever you want and i love this stuff this like i do use it for like a night serum but i also use it before makeup and i will most likely repurchase this and this also smells like confetti like cake batter so i'm obsessed with it i apologize if i sound like i'm not in the mood i'm just if you were in my situation, you would understand. But moving on to brows, I'm going to take the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil. And this is waterproof. And I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. I'm going to use this to outline my eyebrows. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, gel pomade thing and fill them in.
So now I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Concealer and I have my Sunday Shade number 18. And I'm going to use this just to clean up my brows. The doe foot is freaking huge. I'm sure you guys already seen this all over YouTube. So I also heard that this is quite full coverage. So I'm just going to do like dots. I love the packaging. Like it's so chubby and cute. And I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush and clean up the brows, honey. Okay, so now I'm going to moisturize the face before I start priming the eyes. So for moisturizer, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Hydration Boost Lightweight Hydration Hydrating Gel Cream. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but it is so good and it's so affordable. So highly, highly recommend. Okay, so while the moisturizer sinks in, I did apply some tape and we're going to start priming the eyes. So we're going to take the P. Louise dupe. Um, so this is the Becca Shoe Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Medium and it has a nice little squeezy tube. So we're just going to dot some all over the eyes and blend it out. So this is what the eyeshadow primer looks like blended out. It is a little tacky. Um, it is more on the liquidy side, which I personally like. And yeah, it is a really pretty color. So let's see how the eyeshadow blends out over it. I'm going to be using my ColourPop Yes Please palette. And we're just going to do a nice little look. As you can see, I freaking love this palette. This is one of my first palettes that I ever purchased. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna go into, um, we're gonna take this shade right here and use it as a transition. Then I'm going to take this shade and also add it in the crease. So the next shade I'm going to take is the dark brown and pack that on the outer corner. So now I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow primer, cut the crease, and then I'm going to put this shade right here over it and maybe mix it in with this shade. And we're just going to keep it an all matte look today. So I'm going to go back in with that brown shade and just blend out the edges, if you want to call it that, so nothing looks too harsh. Now I'm just going to go back in with the 
second transition shade and the first mix them together and go over where I cut the crease so it looks a little bit more like it has dimension or whatever So now that that is done, I'm going to do winged liner and then mascara and lashes. So for liner, I'm taking the Essence Super Last Eyeliner in matte black. And for mascara, I'm taking DW7 Showing Out Mascara. And then I'm using these lashes that I got from a vendor that I am testing out. So yeah, these are pretty cute. I've been loving these lately. So this is what the eyes are looking like right now. Um, I can actually peel the tape off. Oh, so satisfying. So now we're going to move on to primer. So I'm going to be using two. First, I'm going to use the Make Revolution Pore Blurring Primer, super affordable. And then I'm going to take the Juice Beauty Illuminating Primer to give my face some dewiness because. I like to look a little bit dewy, even though I am oily. So, yeah, and then we'll move on to foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I have mine in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. I freaking love this foundation and it's like $5 at Walmart. So don't sleep on drugstore foundation because it's just as good as high-end foundation. Okay, and then I'm going to be taking it on this little pink sponge here, which I will be having for sale soon on my website. It's just a different shape. The one I have now is the Teardrop the teardrop shape um so this is just a different style So next is concealer and I'm taking the Juvia's Place concealer again in the shade 18 and hopefully this isn't too light. Um, I'm just going to conceal. I'm gonna cream bronze. I'm gonna try to go a little bit more light handed than I did last time because I went a little crazy. And I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in the shade F13, which as you can see is way too dark for me. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go super light today. Because I think I put too much last time. And 
I'm just going to use a flat foundation brush to blend that out. And I'm going to start with the nose. So now I'm going to set everywhere I put concealer and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. This stuff is the bomb. Like the shade is perfect. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. I'm just going to take my damp sponge and apply that where I put concealer. So for the rest of the face, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Pressed Powder Foundation in the shade 332 Golden Caramel, which is like the same shade as my foundation. And I'm just going to set the rest of the face. And now I'm going to bronze and I'm going to leave that on until I'm done bronzing and then I will dust it off once I'm done. So I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Coco Cutie and I'm obsessed with the packaging and the shade is absolutely pretty, gorgeous, you know. Taking the same brush and I'm just going to bronze. And I'm going to use the other side of the brush to just dust that away. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush to bronze the nose. Next is blush. I'm going to be taking the Buxom Premier Infused Blush. This is their Wanderlust brush in the shade Ibiza. Such a pretty color, super pigmented, so you want to make sure you don't go too heavy handed with this blush. Stippling brush, dip, tap off all of the, ex all of the excess. <laughs> Going back in with my bronzer brush just to diffuse that and blend them in a bit better together. So next I'm going in with highlighter. So I'm going to take the ColourPop highlighter in Wisp. This is their Super Shock formula. This is like a really nice light gold kind of shade, champagne type of shade. Um, so before I do that, I am going to take the Morphe Continuous setting mist the strawberry scent and just sink in the powder that i already have on my face a bit and i'm going to take a nice little highlighter brush dip into it make sure my brush is nice and coated
So now that that's done, I'm going to go in with some more of the mist and then press it into the skin anywhere that I put highlighter and then all over the face. So now to finish off the lower lash line, I'm just going to take this shade and mix it with this shade, smoke it out on the bottom and focus the brown shade on the outer corner. So the mascara did transfer I'm gonna let that dry and then rub it away with a spoolie but while that's drying I am going to take this shade right here and apply it on the inner corner and brow bone for highlight we're gonna take the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade honey dude which is a nude and apply that on the waterline So last is lips, so I'm going to take the ColourPop Libby Pencil in the shade BFF3, line my lips, then I'm going to be using the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Free Spirit, which is a nice nude brown, and then I'm going to top it off with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline, and then I'm going to spray my entire face again with this. <laughs> So that brings this look to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. Yeah, comment down below what you guys thought. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Um, overall, the new products that I tried, I already tried these two products. I just was trying different shades, and I like the shades. Um, I freaking love this eyeshadow primer. My eyeshadow blended out like a dream. It looks super smooth and like diffused. I freaking love it. So this is most likely going to be a new favorite of mine. The concealer from Juvia's Place also made my under eyes look super smooth. Like no uh, creasing and the color is perfect. Not too bright, not too dark. So I'm already obsessed with this. And I tried this uh, setting spray before is just a different scent and in collaboration with Jeffree Star So you guys already know I'm obsessed with the original one and I love strawberries. So I like this Yeah, that is the only new things that I tried. So um, On that note, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed, having an amazing day or night wherever you are And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah.